Uh, this next one was written after reading in the Tuesday Science Times section about um, the discovery of a certain protein. And um, I had to email. Uh, it, it ran in the New Yorker, and they ask you to record poems now for audio feature. And I suddenly realized the night before going into the studio that I didn't know how to pronounce the protein. So I emailed two of my good biology friends, and they both came back saying either way was correct. I would be fine. <laughs> um, but the, the poem, so protein is a word which, which came from the Greek god Proteus, who changes. They do their work by changing shapes. Um, and the poem does wander from proteins for a while in the middle into the microbiome, um, the great cutting edge of, of medicine now, I suspect, um, uh, basically suggesting that um, we are sustained by all of the many independent lives that happen to live within us. My proteins. They have discovered, they say, the protein of itch, naturetic polypeptide B, and that it travels its own distinct pathway inside my spine, as do pain, pleasure, and heat. A body, it seems, is a highway a clover leaf crossing, well built, well traversed. Some of me going north, some going south. 90% of my cells they have discovered are not my own person, they are other beings inside me. As 96% of my life is not my life. Yet I, they say, am they. My bacteria and yeasts, my father and mother, grandparents, lovers, my drivers talking on cell phones, my subways and bridges, my thieves, my police who chase myself night and day. My proteins, apparently also me, fold the shirts. I find in this crowded metropolis a quiet corner where I build of not me Lego blocks, a bench, pigeons, a sandwich of rye bread, mustard, and cheese. It is me and is not the hunger that makes the sandwich good. It is not me than is the sandwich, a mystery neither of us can fold, unfold, or consume. <laughs> 